Hi, my name's Penny, and as usual, I'm here to talk about some bookish things. Specifically, what I wanted to do today was take the best book that I read in September, which was Descender Volume 4, Orbital Mechanics, and compare it to the worst book that I read in September, which was Sea Witch Rising by Sarah Henning. And I just thought if I compare and contrast these two books, it might give me some interesting insights about what I think makes a good book. And I'd be really interested to hear down in the comments your thoughts about this as well. Firstly, what are these two books about? This graphic novel is a science fiction story about a war between robots versus humans. A bunch of robots attacked and killed a large number of humans and then in retaliation the humans have started culling the robots as well. And there's this young companion robot who has ended up being stuck in the middle trying to work out what happened and how things might be resolved. Then Sea Witch Rising is the sequel to an Ursula origin mm. story. So Sea Witch was the first book, that was the Ursula origin story. Then Sea Witch Rising is kind of the Little Mermaid story told from the perspective of the Sea Witch, but also told from the perspective of the sister of the Little Mermaid. So it's the Little Mermaid, but told from other perspectives. So I guess this book is a science fiction and Sea Witch Rising is a fantasy and I will say that I have been enjoying science fiction a lot more than fantasy lately. Also this is a adult graphic novel I guess um, and Sea Witch Rising is a young adult novel so and I am definitely not in the young adult target market although there are a lot of young adult books that I enjoy. I have been finding lately that I'm getting a lot more enjoyment from the adult books that I read although I suspect that that's just more to do with the young adult books that I'm picking up because I never thought that Sea Witch Rising was going to be my favorite whereas this series I'm really loving so I had a good feeling that I would love it. So I guess my expectations going in ended up being realized. Next let's talk about world building. In this one obviously it's a graphic novel so there's not a lot of details but what I think it does is that what details we are provided are consistent in a way that makes you believe there is a bigger world out there. Whereas in Sea Witch Rising even though there is more detail given there still wasn't that much detail and I didn't feel like the things we were told about the world were consistent or made sense if you really thought about how that would actually work. And of course it's fantasy so it's not supposed to really work but I still think you need a certain level of consistency within the details of the world that are being given. Then let's talk about characters. So there are some really lovable characters in Descender especially the robots. So many of the robots I just love the emotions they express and the humans in the story are also quite good. I think there's a lot of complex relationships going on and those relationships change as the story progresses. In Sea Witch Rising I didn't feel like the characters made a lot of sense. A lot of the time the motivations of the Sea Witch weren't clear and I felt like that was just being used as a plot device because suddenly the Sea Witch's motivation would be revealed to you. Like why has she been doing this thing? Oh it's because of this. But since we're being told part of the story from her perspective it didn't really make sense why we weren't told that earlier and it just meant that all her parts of the story were very directionless and of course we didn't get the Little Mermaid's perspective at all so her actions didn't really seem to make a lot of sense. They seemed very surface level and the same with the the sister just seemed to be t willing to take the most ridiculous risks in order to save her sister and I suppose if you love your sister you might be willing to do that but I just felt like they should have been able to come up with a much better plan if that's really what they were trying to achieve. In terms of plot, the plot of Descender is actually quite intricate for a graphic novel. Uh, there are all these different characters and their different plot threads all come together in really interesting ways and there's a lot of conflict caused by the different characters and motivations. In Sea Witch Rising as I said a lot of the time the motivations of the characters aren't made clear and the overall plot was very scattered. Uh, we have the Little Mermaid trying to win her true love, we have the sister trying to save the little mermaid, we've got this war brewing, we've also got all this drama going on with the mermaids under the sea. 
The plan that they came up with to try and save the Little Mermaid just seemed very convoluted. Like there's this step and then this step and then this step just so that the story would have something to do. A lot of the plot felt like filler. In a graphic novel there's not a lot of room for story so every part of the plot has to really have meaning and drive the story forward and I think Jacinda really does that but Sea Witch Rising just felt like a lot of filler and not much really happened most of the time. As far as style goes, I actually don't necessarily love the style of the art in the Descender graphic novel series. There are some pages that are pretty cool, especially like the title pages of the chapters, but the dialogue gets right to the point and I think each character has quite a distinctive voice. So that's really well done. In Sea Witch Rising I didn't feel like the different characters had distinctive voices and part of this might be that I think it was the same narrator in the audiobook doing both characters. So I of often couldn't tell which one was which even though she did put on a slightly different voice. I just think in the end Sea Witch Rising felt a lot like when you're writing an essay and you need to try and make the word count so you put in a lot of sentences that are like quite flowery but don't actually mean anything. And I mean I do like some books that have quite flowery prose but I still think that flowery prose needs to have meaning for it to actually work. And in terms of themes and ideas, Descender is all about what makes people or robots good and what makes them bad. It's about how good people can be driven to do bad things in certain situations. It's questioning what actually makes a being human or what is the essence of humanity and it's looking at how do you find your place in the universe. In summary it's looking at some ideas that I personally find really interesting and I really enjoyed it which is why I really enjoyed it. Sea Witch Rising I'm not really sure what ideas it was exploring. I guess to some degree it was looking at the fact that true love is more than just seeing someone and thinking that you're in love but there's no successful relationships in this series. Is that right? I can't quite remember. Definitely Sea Witch Rising was much more forgettable. I guess one theme it might have been trying to explore was the fact that you know the Sea Witch isn't really evil, that people have motivations for doing what they're doing but there is another character in there who just seems to be the bad guy with no justification of why they're like that. So I don't think it does that theme properly either. I don't know, if you've read Sea Witch Rising, tell me what you think the themes and ideas of that story are because I can't really remember any. Anyway, I guess that that summarizes why I love this book so much and why I didn't really get much out of Sea Witch Rising. Basically every different way of looking at these books I thought that Descender was superior. So that's why I gave this five stars and Sea Witch Rising only two stars. Of course I would love for you to disagree with me about any of this or if you have any thoughts about what makes you really like a book compared with what makes you not like it so much I'd love to talk to you more about it down in the comments. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you're having a wonderful day and I will see you next time.